Good morning, dear. Today we will talk about the bisector of an angle. We discussed it before as a separate lesson, but I will remind you what do we mean by bisector and see some examples before moving to another idea. As a definition, the bisector is a semi-line issued from a vertex of a triangle or angle and cuts the angle into two equal adjacent angles. Let's consider this triangle ABC. I can say that AD is the bisector of angle BAC. What do you mean by bisector? It cuts this angle BAC into two equal adjacent angles BAD and DAC. Okay, here this is the bisector of the angle drawn in red, so I can say that BAD equal to DAC, each one of them is the half of BAC or equal BAC over 2. If we look together at this triangle ABC, and we draw AD, the first bisector of angle BAC. Okay, when we talked about median, we said that um, a median is a segment that is issued from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, we talked about the midpoint of the side. When we talked about height, we said it's issued from the vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. Here, when we talk about bisector, it's about angle. It divides the angle into two equal adjacent angles. So, BAD equal to DAC equal half of BAC. The second bisector is BE. It's issued from B. Now, BE is a bisector. So, ABE equal to EBC equal to ABC over 2. It's half the angle ABC. The third bisector here is CF. It's a bisector of ACB, so I can clearly say that ACF equal to FCB. Each one of them is half of the angle ACB. As we notice, these three bisectors are concurrent. They intersect at one point. This point which I name here I, is the center of circle in triangle ABC. Center of circle inscribe. Inscribe means the circle is drawn inside the triangle. So here, if you put uh, your compass on I and open it as a radius of IF, you will get this circle which is inscribed or inside the triangle ABC. So, I is called in center or center of circle. Again, the intersection of median is called centroid or center of gravity. The intersection of height is called orthocenter. Now, the intersection of bisector, you have to study well these names. It's called the in center or center of circle inscribed in triangle ABC. Okay, now let's see. The bisector of an angle lie always inside the triangle in an acute, obtuse, or right. The end center is always inside the circle. Okay, it's the same as the center of gravity or centroid. It's always inside the triangle. But the orthocenter, the intersection of height, it's inside the triangle if the triangle is acute, while it's outside the triangle if the triangle is obvious. Okay? Now, let's see an example. Here we have a right triangle. If we draw the three bisectors, they are concurrent. They intersect at this point here. So, if we open our compass, we can draw a circle which is inscribed in a triangle. Okay, the point of intersection of the bisector is in center or center of circle inscribed in a triangle. Here, 
When we talk about a right triangle, let's see an obtuse triangle. It's also the same. The end center is inside the triangle. We have to study these rules well. We will use them later. Now, how to draw a bisector? We have two ways. The first one, by using our protractor, we measure the angle using a protractor, then we divide it by two to calculate its half, and we draw it by protractor again. For example, here we have ABC. I have to draw uh, the bisector of angle ABC. Look, we always start from the zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it's 56. Now, what's the half of 56? It's 28. Since 56 divided by 2 is 28, so by using our protractor, here is 20 and 8 dashes. This at this point, I can draw the semi-line, which is called the bisector of the angle. Okay, this bisector cuts the angle into two equal angles. So, I can clearly say that ABE equal to EBC equal to 28 degrees. Now, another way to draw a bisector by using our compass here is our triangle ABC. I have to draw here the bisector of angle BAC. So, put one of the hands of the compass on A and draw an arc here. Similarly, we have to draw another arc on the second side. Now, the next step is put the needle of the compass here on the arc and draw another arc from both sides. And the point of intersection of the two arcs is joined to the vertex A to form the bisector of an angle. So now I can say that BAD equal to DAC. Now, your homework is to solve the following practice. Given the following figure, you have a triangle ABC. You have to write its type. Which type of triangle is it? If I talk about C, C prime, what is it? Look, no one told me that C prime is AB. So, I'm not talking about median. It's not perpendicular, so I'm not talking about height. Look well at the angle. You have to notice that C, C prime is the bisector of which angle? And that's how you should think to complete the rest of the parts. Thank you for your attention.